Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Smoking Lead. I'm Caesar Cantu with my good friend Robert Dellinger. And today we're smoking a special cigar that was sent to us by a good friend, Ronnie. He's a follower on Instagram, Facebook, uh, YouTube, and Twitch. <clears throat> Basically, everything that we have, uh, including MySpace. <laughs> uh, but they, here they are. He sent this to us. We already know what it is. It is the uh, Ultimo. Uh, it's, it's actually from Ultimo Cigars, uh, a place down in uh, Oklahoma, Tulsa, Oklahoma. And uh, this cigar is called the Scissor Tail. He wants us to smoke both, though. There's an extra one on there. So we'll be back. All right, guys, we're back. Um, so we're smoking this um, scissor tail by Ultimo Cigars. I'm smoking the Cameroon, and he's gonna be smoking the Maduro. And after that, we're gonna be smoking the scissor tail Tomasito Cigarillo, Cigarillo, um, which is this little small one right here. Um, now these cigars. You cannot, the, the uh, Tomasito, you cannot get them or order them online. You're going to have to actually own, the only way you can get these if you go to the actual store. Please forgive us if we keep looking somewhere else in front of us. <laughs> we're watching game six of the World Series and we're rooting for our Astros to win it. Because they are going to win it. Yeah. And right now, it's literally, uh, let me see, it's bottom of the fourth, nobody out. 2-1. Astros are winning 2-1. So, let's, and Brantley is at bat. Anyways, um, <laughs> so, our good friend, he's from Texas, he's from up north, uh, I guess, what is it considered up north? I would say so. Dallas, Dallas. Fort Worth area, yes. maybe, I think. Um... And he sent these cigars. He drove literally, what, what do you say, 500 miles, eight hours uh, to get these cigars. These cigars, you can only buy them online, which is just a regular scissor tail Maduro or the, uh, or the Cameroon. Um, now, these cigars run you about, in singles, they run you around, around uh, $9. And they also, I think online, you can only get them as five packs, which is about 45 bucks. <clears throat> um, I want to say thank you to to Ronnie for for uh, getting these cigars to us uh, and going all the way up there to go get them. Absolutely, I mean we, we didn't appreciate it, it so much. Thank yes, you. we do, and uh, it was just something unexpected. He said, hey, "I got some for you guys. I'm gonna, I'll be right, I'm gonna go to uh, Tulsa, Oklahoma, and uh, go get these cigars. I know I want to bring you guys some. So thank you, Ronnie, for hooking us up and doing that for us." Um, and uh, I hope this review is what you hope for. <laughs> but anyways, uh, the Ultimo Cigars is owned by um, Tomas. Tomas. Yes. And uh, Tomas runs everything there. I believe he, he does everything there. I, I, mean, I think he's got one other guy that's working for him. I'm, I'm not sure what's his name. Uh, I do have pictures, so I will post. I'll be posting the pictures uh, on, uh, between the videos or right at the end. Um, this company has been around for like just a little less than a year. It's about to be a year, so they're about to do their one year anniversary. So it hasn't been around for long, um, which is pretty pretty cool. Um, now the. 
Uh, actually, let me get more information here. Now, the Cameroon scissor tail is. Let me see. It's got. Let's see. Cameroon, Dominican brand. The scissor tail Cameroon features the same fillers and binders of the classic scissor tail with a Cameroon wrapper. This cigar offers clean, pure tobacco flavors with a slightly enhanced sweet finish. This Corona Grande size, Dominican Cubano and Cameroon fillers, I believe. Uh, now, though, when he's smoking the Maduro, this cigar takes the same filler and kick uh, kicks up the spice with the. Uh, uh, let's see, wrap. No, is it Maduro wrap? With a darker Maduro wrapper, this Corona Grande size cigar features Dominican, Cubano, and Cameroon fillers bunched, uh, bunched using the traditional El Tuba, Entubado methods and wrapped in a Nicaragua, Nicaraguan binder and finished in a Connecticut broadleaf Maduro wrapper. Ooh. Okay, so we got a little bit of the both cigars. This is the only information that I'm getting either from what they sent us or what uh, I found on their website. Um, he did sign the paperwork for us and some of the cards. Um, pretty cool. Thank you, uh, Tomas. <clears throat> now, the scissor tail Tomasito is. Let's see, Tomasitos are, are cigarillos or cigarrillos produced as mixed fillers using chop from our original scissor tail along with additional. Long filler, seco, and hand rolled using the same binder and Ecuadorian wrapper leaf. Bolder than the larger scissor tail, this cigar remains a clean ex ex expression of our pure tobacco flavors. So now you can only get these in the factory. You cannot buy these online. Fillers, Dominican Piloto Cubano, Cameroon, binder Nicaragua, wrapper, uh, Ecuadorian, shade, shade grown. When you go up there, you get a five pack for 12 bucks. Now, what else do I need to let you guys know before we go and go to the next thing and start smoking? I want to get everything wrapped up because there's so much little information. I just want to put it all on there before I don't want to forget anything. Yeah. Um, this cigar also, uh, logo, it's a state bird, which is the scissor tail flycatcher. It's a pretty nice looking logo, if you ask me. And uh, this one has Cameroon bottom, and it's a little lighter cigar. It is, I believe it's triple capped. It's either double or triple capped. Eh, I could say double capped. Now the Maduro, same thing, but it says Maduro, and it's, it is a little darker, double capped. Um... You can see a little veiny, a little, little rougher. Very nice cigar, though. Oh, yeah. You can definitely tell that these are hand-rolled cigars. Oh, yeah. Well, uh, but uh, I'm excited about this one. Yeah, me too. And we'll be right back, guys, with the cut and light. All right. We kind of messed up a little bit. He already kind of lit his and cut it. But because the microphone was off, we had to reconnect it. I cut mine already. I just need to light it. Fresh light. Yeah, this thing's not working. Whoa, that, that's not. That's a nice lighter. Get it, get it. Yes. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Watching the World Series. You're going to hear us say something out of nowhere. Oh, wow. That's the reason why. Now, I've heard good things about this cigar by Ronnie. So, I am uh, expecting good stuff. So Spice is, is up there on this one. Definitely up there. It's got a loose straw. Um, I'm getting a slight milkiness, like 
milk, kind of like a milk chocolate and a slight roast coffee. See, I have no spice on this. There's definitely, ooh, especially through the retro. Retro on this one, it is strong. I just feel a little bit of heat, but no spice at all. It's just a little heat. Of it. Oh, yeah. Now the Those smoke, the the the, the, the notes that I'm getting. Oh no! <sighs> he just tied it two two. Por qué? <laughs> It's I'm, definitely it's just some high on spice. See, I'm getting just a, a like a tobacco flavor with just a little bit of the sweetness of the tobacco. <laughs> so yeah, I'm um I'm not really getting a lot of the spice or anything like that. I'm just getting like a just a t regular tobacco flavor. Really? Mm -hmm. It's smooth. It's a little creamy, uh, kind of like a hay flavor. Um, Okay, now I'm getting a little bit of the spice. Man. They're just pretty spicy. Dude, the retro, man, it's making my eyes water, dude. <clears throat> it's, it's the flavors that I'm getting right now is awesome. I'm loving it. That wow. spice, whoo, it is, it is there. I'm it's, jealous. It's, it's, kicking me, <laughs> it's kicking me in my booty. Not, not like, I'm not, I'm not, like, it's spicy. See, I got a little bit of, uh, um, a sweetness coming through there. Just regular tobacco sweetness. That's about that's all a bit that's all I'm getting. But now see the spice, I don't get no spice. It's just heat. Really? Kinda like a, a just heat. That's it, man. It's just I can feel that the, retro hell and everything. The only time I get the spice is through the retro. Other than that, it's I'm I'm getting that milky chocolatey coffee. You know what? Like a, I'm not getting much. Just just regular tobacco with sweetness, uh, the hay flavor, kind of like the earthy flavor. And that's it. That's it. That one was like a peanut, not a peanut butter. It's, it, it's that one was it was real nutty. Well, we'll be back at the first half and uh, continue to see what notes we pick up. Guys, we're here at the first half, and uh, very interesting notes, man. It's it's a good cigar. Um, ah, man, I was gonna say something and I totally forgot. The size of the cigar was, uh, where's my paperwork? I was like, man, I forgot we, we didn't say the size. Now the size on this bad boy is a, uh, isn't that even oh yeah, six point twenty five by forty two. They're known as a Corona Grande. Um, now what notes are you getting? I did have that milky chocolate chocolate type, but that's gone away. And I'm strictly getting like a Kahlua. Kahlua and a lot of spice. Especially through the retro, a lot. Mm. And that, that's strictly, it, it, it's, it tastes like I'm drinking Kahlua. That's nice. It's for real, I, I'm really liking nice. this. This is real nice. I'm digging it. It's burning really good, too. Mm -hmm. It's burning really good. See, now what I'm getting oh, it was ash. is kind of like a, I'm still getting that 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 uh, heat coming out my retro hill. Very little, little tingle of spice in the back of my, my mouth. It's creamy. It's got the hay flavor, the hay notes, and uh, a little earthy. And uh, uh, kind of like a caramel coffee. Mm, okay. um, that's what I'm getting right now. It's got that sweetness, the tobacco sweetness. Uh, it's not like a typical, not not, not typical, not like a, a sweetness from like a fruit or a candy, nothing like that. Just more like that regular natural tobacco sweetness. That's what I'm getting. Nice. And the aroma on it is it's a pretty good aroma. Oh, it is. Man. Ah, this is gonna this is gonna be good. Mm -hmm. I can, as of right now, oh, I might be have to make me a trip. <laughs> 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 this sucker is good. So if if from Fort Worth or Dallas to 
to uh, what is that place called? Oklahoma? No, not yeah. Uh, yeah Tulsa, Oklahoma. Oklahoma was eight hours. So from here to uh, Tulsa, Oklahoma would be uh, about twelve hours, maybe. About eleven or twelve hours. Yeah. Because it's about three to four hours from here to Dallas. Yeah, it is. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I would say about that much. Road trip. No. Road trip. <laughs> well, they're having their one year uh, anniversary party. I know that. Mm. Uh, he said he's going to go up there again, go have a good time. So, you guys will be right back at the half. Come on, baby, get a hit. Oh, damn. Come on, man. All right, guys, we're here at the half. It's burning really well. Um, what are you getting, bro? I'm still getting that, that Kahlua coffee. That's it. Spice has died down a lot. It's still there, especially through the retro, but literally it's... I'm strictly getting that uh, that Kahlua. The coffee's strong on this one. So I'm getting um, on this camera, and I'm, I'm getting just kind of like I guess a caramel. It's the same thing I've got beginning. Just just very earthy though. Very earthy. Hey. And a, a little bit of the caramel. That's all I'm getting. Uh, here at the half, guys. Um, if you haven't uh, picked up uh, any cigars from Little Cigar Box, go check them out. Get you a 10% uh, discount by using promo code SNL10 by going to the website www.littlecigarbox.com with a uh, purchase of 20 bucks or more. Go check it out, guys. And we'll be right back. Oh, go, 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 go. No, not a double. Safe. Yes. Oh, thank God he's safe. Oh, you're recording. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, guys. Here at the second half, we're about, I'm going to take the band off. He's got two bands. Came right off the first one. Second one fun. came right off. Technical difficulties. <laughs> you having trouble with yours? I am. And I came right off. Trying to work the label. <laughs> hey, when that happens, you're gonna end up getting into the cigar, man. No, that's why I'm trying to pull up. I say, look, that's why. I don't want to rip the label. <laughs> But that is not a strike. Come on, man. Anyways, I'm here. It's got a little bit more bolder. It was at the medium strength the whole time. Now it's gotten a little bit towards the full, but not really. It's just a little, it just picked up a little bit in strength, not a lot. Still the earthy uh, notes and the hay notes. It's nothing's really changed. Um, I just got a little bit my bolder. <laughs> it almost burned me because I, I was trying to get the label off and it fell. But not not a bad, um, no big transitions. Uh, just the same notes. Just got a little bit more bolder, and that's about it. What about you? Me, the coffeeness. Uh, what would what, I say? The Kahlua, that's pretty much gone away. It's very faint. But it's... The main thing I'm getting now is a earthiness and a slight wood flavor. The 
the spice, everything like that, that's completely gone. Um, it, it's just that earthy and wood flavor that I'm getting right now. It's, it's been burning real good, too. Yeah, they, they both good. been burning really, really good. Um, it's just, it, to me, it's more like, um, it's just good tobacco, but um, it, it hasn't done any changes. It stayed the same the whole time. Uh, still the same. And like I said, just got a little bit more bolder. The, the, the notes got a little bit more stronger, but nothing, uh, nothing to rave about. Really? Hmm. Yeah. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. <laughs> I'm, you... I'm enjoying mine a lot. So that's oh, cool. Man, I'm jealous. <laughs> uh, and and then at the same time, our Astros are losing three to two right now. So it's just kind of like, what happened? But no, what it? No it ain't over back. till the last pitch. That's all I gotta say. We'll be back, and we'll also be back at the end. All right, we're back at the end, and um, what are you getting, bro? Same old thing. It, I'm getting that earthiness and uh, the wood. No spice once again. And at first, I got like a bitterness, but I try I tried blowing out of it, and it it completely went away for me. Yeah. Mm. See, I'm getting the same thing I've been getting the whole time. It like I said, but. It's getting stronger and stronger. It's getting more bolder. Um, and it's gotten a little bit more spicier in the end. Um, I can feel the nicotine ramp up a little bit, but not much. Uh, but that's about it. I mean, nothing, nothing's changed so far. The whole cigar has been basically the same. Mm. Mm. So I might just call it a... Call it the end on this one and light up the other one. Sounds good. Oh, man. Oh, man. This one we are doing. What is this one called again? This reminds me of like a cinnamon stick. Look at this. This one is the Tomasito Cigarillo. Very lumpy, very, very... And you don't have to cut this one. This one's already been cut. Yeah. Or not cut, but... Well, I guess you can say it's been There's cut. The end. That's the end right there. In the foot. Let's see. There we go. Let's see what this Tomasito is all about. I like the name. I like how it rolls off the tongue. What is it again? Say it one more time. Tomasito. There you go. Look at that. I literally got the note of corn tortillas. Oh, wow. Okay, spice through the retro, definitely. Um... Totally different. And I'm not getting any spice, but. It's got a different note. I'm tasting something, but I don't, I can't. But it's good. There's a little bit of spice on the retro. I'm tasting almost like a graham cracker. Huh. That's not bad at all. Yeah, I'm getting like a graham cracker taste. Yeah, I'm getting the same thing. It's very mild, though. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, a little bit of spice, not not much. But we'll be back at, at let's call it at the half. We'll be at the half. Yeah, we'll we'll come back at the half. All right, guys, uh, we're here at the second half. I mean, the second half at the half, half. of the Tomasito. Uh, notes. What are you getting, bro? Still getting that graham cracker, and I'm getting a slight, slight coffee. It's real nice. No spice, nothing. Just that, that graham cracker is the main, main component here yeah. that, I'm, that I'm getting. See, I got the graham cracker earlier uh, in the beginning, and then I ended up going towards a... I started, well, I got the tortilla at first. Oh, yeah. The corn tortilla. Then I got a little bit of the graham cracker. Then it transitioned to uh, a banana, like banana pudding. And I was getting that for a good while. <laughs> Sorry, that went all in your face, dude. <laughs> and then right now I'm getting more of a, like a chocolate, dark chocolate note. Um, but it is a little bit more bolder. It's a little more stronger. Yes, it, it is bold. Yeah, it's got a little bit of the spice. But we'll be back at the end. Hey, what's up, guys? We're here at the end. Um, it's just gotten a little bit stronger. Um, I, I got notes of like uh, just dark, dark coffee. That's it. After that. Yeah, see, I got the woodsy flavor back. That's what I'm getting. But actually, this was a real good cigar. Uh, nice. Cigarillo. Yes. I enjoyed it. It was real nice. We're still watching the game. Unfortunately, our boys are losing 5-2 to two here at the 8th inning. They're going down to the bottom of the 8th. Um, hopefully, our guys come back and do something. But <sighs> it's not over to the last pitch. But anyways, guys, um, we want to say a special thank you, like, like we said earlier, to to ronnie bro thank you so much for for uh, sending this to us we really appreciate it uh there were decent cigars they were pretty good um i i me personally because we had different cigars mm -hmm. the first one that i had i i enjoyed a lot i really did um i think this one was probably better than it but i kind of had sort of the same um the same notes as the other kind of sort of mm -hmm. like I did taste the coffee in this one but it was slight real slight but I liked them it's pretty nice I like this one the the um the cigarillo tomasito more than the uh Cameroon uh Cameroon really didn't transition to me a lot it stayed the same the whole time um it was a, a decent cigar um but I think the Tomasito was better, but then again, it's I like more of a stronger cigars, I guess you can say, or like a like Maduro and all that. But it is a good cigar. Uh, the Cameroon is still a good cigar. I, I, I believe you guys, if you like it, um, lighter cigars or kind of like in the medium or those type of notes, I think you would really enjoy that. Uh, Me personally, it was okay, uh, but I would like to try that Maduro next time. I'll, I'll probably end up ordering some. Some uh, try out the Maduro ones, yeah. But anyways, guys, thank you. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe, to like, comment below. We will leave a link uh, below on the website where you can purchase these cigars and check them out, man. These guys are doing good stuff, and um, don't forget to support. <laughs> oh man i'm just like i'm watching the game <laughs> it's crazy man this game's crazy um who do you think who do you guys think is gonna win the astros or the nationals man let us know in the comments below and um always remember to enjoy your freedom with a cigar in your mouth and a gun in your hand god bless you and your family god and god bless america to the next episode guys